Welcome to the showcase of my performance upgrade that I did to the digital logic sim. So what I did is I added a caching of combinational chips. What that means is a combinational chip is any chip, like for example, this ALU, whose outputs entirely depend only on the inputs and on nothing else. So for example, an ALU is combinational, a flip-flop, for example, isn't because it can store a state. And so what I'm doing, like usually, currently in the simulation, I mean, this, this is a functional AU, by the way. Can do addition, can also, for example, do subtraction. Everything works. And currently, if the simulation wants to figure out the output of this AU, then what it has to do, it asks the AU, hey, what do you do for this input? And then the ALU has to ask all its subchips, like for example this adder here, hey, for these inputs, what is your output? And then the adder 8 has to ask its adder 4s, hey, for these inputs, what is your output? And then they have to ask, hey, for your inputs, what is your output? And then they have to ask, hey, for your inputs, what is your output? And this goes on all the way until you reach an AND gate. And then you can ask the NAND gate, hey, for these inputs, what is your output? And the NAND gate can then actually give you an answer. And it gives you an actual output. And then you need to propagate that outwards all the way again until you get your final output. And obviously, if your chip consists of many, many basic uh, chips, like many NAND gates, then this is obviously going to take a long time. So what I'm doing instead is um, I'm looping through all the possible inputs and creating a lookup table where I can just look up, hey, for these inputs, what should the output be? And then in my version, all I have to do is like, I ask the ALU, hey, what's your output for this input? And the ALU just has to check the lookup table and immediately has the output, which obviously runs way faster. In fact, it actually runs like a hundred times faster because currently I'm in the old version of the simulator and this ALU runs at like 30, 35 steps per second. And if I go to my new upgraded version of the simulator, the ALU can still, of course, do calculation and everything. And however, now it's, it's being cached. And now it runs at almost 4 million steps per second. So while the old one didn't even get 40,000, this one almost gets 4 million steps per second. So this ALU literally gets computed like 100 times faster now than the old version. And it's still exactly the same ALU. The only thing that I did differently is that in the customization menu, I turned on the chip caching. And yeah, that way you can get up to 100 times faster um, chips. However, this is, of course, also a quite extreme example, only having this one cached uh, chip. But even on a more normal example, like for example, on my CPU, um, let's go back to the old version of the game. If I open up the CPU here, um, which usually can run SNE. We'll see if it works. It doesn't seem to work at the moment, but anyways, the simulation runs at a thousand steps per second. If I go to my new improved version, here, the simu... Oh, here it actually also works. Here we have the functioning snake game. Yeah, the, the game is kind of fucked. It doesn't always work. But here, it runs at like 4,500 steps per second. So even this full CPU that also has many chips that can't be cached, like for example, the registers or the RAM, even here it still runs like four and a half times faster than in the old current version of the game. To give another example, um, for example, I also made a game of life at some point. And in the old version of the game, this runs at like 12 steps per second. But even here, even in this game of life, where you would think that the majority of the performance goes down to all the thousands of cells that each have a state, which can't be optimized. But even still, if I go 
into this game of life here in my new upgraded version. We can see, we can already see it runs way faster because it actually runs at like more than 50 steps per second. So even the game of life somehow runs like four times faster in my new upgraded version of the game. Yeah. Something that should also get mentioned though is that creating these caches isn't really uh, for free because for example, if I go back to my CPU, we can see that now that I reloaded the project, so I need to recalculate the caches and we can see calculating the cache for the ALU does take some time because the ALU has 20 input bits. So in total, that's two to the power of 20 different entries in your lookup table. So like literally a million entries in the lookup table and calculating all of them is somewhat slow. But because of that, I also added that nice showcase that you can see at the bottom where you can see like which chips get, which caches get created at the moment and what's the progress. So yeah, I did also already do a build request. We'll see when or if it gets merged. And yeah, I hope you liked the showcase of my performance improvements. And thanks for watching.